and welcome to ILTV's Evening Update. I'm Natasha Kirchuk here with the latest news from Israel. The Israeli government has put together a new team to uproot racism and violence against Ethiopian Israelis. The committee aims to offer equal opportunities to the minority community, eradicating discrimination along the way. The issue of racism against Ethiopian Israelis has been receiving more and more attention over the last year, after police violence against an Ethiopian soldier sparked major protests. At least six Palestinians are dead after a tunnel collapse in Gaza. All six fatalities were members of Hamas, and there were at least five others injured in the collapse. The tunnel reportedly collapsed due to extreme weather conditions, including heavy rainfall. The tunnel's purpose is unclear, although Hamas has used tunnels in the past to infiltrate Israel and carry out terror attacks. The IDF claims to have destroyed at least 30 tunnels during Operation Protective Edge, but fears that Hamas is attempting to rebuild the infrastructure. The Israeli government is claiming that Hamas is using visitor permits to enter Israel to commit acts of terrorism. The IDF says that if Hamas continues to abuse the permits, Israel may stop granting tourist and work permits to Gazans. The government could even bar all Gazans from crossing through the border to Israel. The country hasn't specified how Hamas is abusing the permits, only stating that they're used to commit acts of terror. Finance Minister Moshe Kahlon has resigned from his Knesset seat as part of a technical scheme to give a seat to another party member. Kahlon will continue serving as finance minister in the Israeli cabinet, but his parliamentary move will allow Akram Hasson to replace him in the plenum. The political scheme falls under the Norwegian law, which allows one minister from a party to leave parliament but still hold on to the ministerial post. The party can then bring in another member to take over the Knesset seat, allowing the faction to strengthen its presence. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Natasha Kirchuk and see you tomorrow with our morning briefing from Israel at 7 a.m. Eastern Time.